I hate how OBS is just like, nah, fam. I know you hit record, but like we're gonna record in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that on my last whip? I I did. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, like, I know. It's like cut the shit, OBS. So what's even my plan for this episode, guys? You tell me in the comments down below, and then we'll execute it. You gotta be quick, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Welcome. This is Thursday. Unless I hey! unless editing Greg was lazy, then it might be Friday. And that has happened before. It happened a couple weeks ago. Holy crap! One of these fish is eleven ounces. Oh god, we getting good, Tim. That's a big fish. Yeah, I hope to catch some like that this weekend. Yeah. Because that can make for some interesting video. Well, actually, the old one, the old video, it hit like 700 views this week. Really? Which is like ridiculous for a video on my channel. <laughs> People like the fishing videos. It's the most viewed video on my channel because I don't count the Midnight Report because clearly I got view botted. Well. I actually don't even think that video is public anymore. I think it's private, unpublished. Why did you change it? Um, I just, it was a shitty video anyways, but oh. like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I just don't want it there. Cause I just That's... don't want to have that one video and then have people in the future be like, uh, wow. Yeah. What happened here? Did what you pay all your friends? What a shithead. <laughs> no, I didn't pay my friends cause I don't have friends. Ah, exactly. I got gotcha. you. The only friend I have is Tim and he can't view it 6,000 <laughs> times. He doesn't even have that much patience. But no, I don't. <laughs> i would be cool if I did. I, I mean, I'd do it to my own channel. I wouldn't do it to yours. Well, of course, but like, you know. Nah, just set up a machine with a VPN on no account and just like, you know, why do you think I have an all videos playlist? Ah, there you go. That's a great idea. I've totally never done that, though. That Can I be, not eat this fish? That would be wrong. That would be breaking the system. Why can't I eat my fish? Um... I don't know. Is it not cooked? I'm finding native copper nuggets all over the ground over here. In just the first couple, the minute of the episode here, I found four native copper nuggets. Really? Yeah. Maybe I have to cook it, huh? Yeah, you do have to cook fish. You can't eat it raw. That would explain it. Can't do it raw, Tim. Uh, and it's already decayed to 2.9%. Is it cold and shamed lying naked on the floor? No, it's warming up. Oh, okay. So is it warm and shamed lying naked on the floor? <laughs> yes. It is in the pit kiln after all. Protein hot. Hot protein. Do I have to cook it all the way? How do uh, I know when to take it out? It's going to turn cooked from fish. a fish right. to okay. a cooked fish. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm exploring. It's rather boring. I'm exploring. <laughs> I take my cooked fish medium. Thank you. So, Tim, I actually have a discussion to have here. Because oh Whip boy. isn't going to always be about like interesting videos. Sometimes it's going to be about <laughs> discussions. <laughs> Every now and, now and then we may have to have discussions. Just because, like, <laughs> you know, this mod pack is ridiculously hard. It's very grindy. So sometimes it might actually legitimately take more than a week to get a quality episode. Yes. Like, it's going to take 100 episodes before we even think about getting to the nether. So don't even get your hopes up. Right. Season 3 will not be this mod pack. Why did it... Why the barley seeds... What happened? What? Not enough sunlight. Oh! what I shit. tell you? You were right. I was wrong. I thought that was going to be a problem. You were correct. So they did they just stop growing? They went back into seeds. Did everything? Um, Almost. This is unfortunate. Especially since we had stuff at like super high, like really close to done. Like the cabbages yeah. were at like 93%. Yeah, but cabbages are now no longer any percent. Son of a biscuit. Sun, literally. All right. So I'm wow. Just, so, anyways, we were gonna have a discussion. Yes. The Elgato Stream Deck. Yes. Thoughts? Because I've, I've, I, I, it's finally at the point where I've started to see some reviews. 
Okay. And people like I, actually starting to talk about it. I don't think it's something that would fit my needs or desires. Okay. I also agree with you, but I think for a different reason do I agree with you. Um, okay. Because I don't view it specifically as a stream thing. I view it as a programmable macro board. Fair enough. Um, which also has the ability to give me cute little indicators so I actually know what the freak my macros are. So my argument is at the price point, because uh, it's about 150 bucks, I think. Sounds right, yeah, from what I saw. It's 15 buttons. Yes. It's $150. Yes. It's made of plastic. It's $10 a button. It's $10 a button. So there's a couple of other solutions to do something similar. And one of which that I've seen that actually looks pretty cool is there's these custom, like, you can flash your own firmware and stuff to them, keyboards um, that are a little bit different, but they're the Plank, and they're they're called, one of them's the Plank, and one of them is a Prionic. And they're like 40% okay. keyboard and 60% keyboard, respectively. So they're like even smaller than my keyboard I have. Okay. And I have a small keyboard. That's what she said. Hey. -o. Hey. -o. I'm also headed back to the house because it's becoming dark. I found eight native copper nuggets. I've almost found an entire tool on the way out. Just wow. In this area. So we doing good apparently now. We doing good, fam. Yeah. Um. So those two keyboards. You can literally make them do the same thing, get more buttons, so you don't have to like constantly change profiles. Just put some custom key keycaps on them with images. And they're like 160 bucks for a actual full keyboard. Wow. So that's way less than $10 a key. Because that's the thing that like the Stream Deck had going for it, is you could actually customizably program all of the buttons. To... And the other thing, too, is... If you want to really use the Stream Deck to its fullest, you have to use like some sort of an extra program. So you can use that thing to trigger keystrokes, which trigger something in another piece of software. Get because triggered. They only have actions that can be performed by it for certain pieces of software, like um, OBS and Twitch stuff, and you can like have it do a click to tweet type of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty limited. Whereas you go with one of these like fully programmable keyboards, which is like aluminum build quality, way more keys, way more customizable options for said keys. And then it's the same price. Right. That's my thing. Like if the stream deck was say $80, I think you'd be more in range. Yeah. Even that, I think, is a little bit pricey for what it is. Because it's basically, like, I'm, I'm holding a wireless number pad in my hand right now. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It has 18 keys. It's about the same size. It's made of plastic. And it cost me, like, 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. And I could interface this with a program like Lua Macros or something. And use this as a macro pad. Or I could get yes, something could. like the Razor Orb Weaver, which has more keys and a thumb pad and do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So I just, I don't know. I think they, a lot of streamers are like raving about it. And I'm just sitting here like, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Are they, are the streamers that are raving about it, are they like, uh, partners? Sponsored? Yeah. I don't Sponsored know. By them, or? I would assume. I would hope no, because if they are, they're supposed to disclose that, so they're breaking regulations if they are. Right. Right, right. I like to assume the best of people, but some people do suck. This is true. But yeah, so that's that's my thoughts on the it's stream deck. I kind of like the idea, but like, I don't know, it's just... No... The thought behind it is is good, but I, it's not something that I would use. The implementation that they came up with is just not great. 
Yeah, I don't need anything that, that has more buttons. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I, I, that's true. The problem you've been facing lately is finding a left-handed mouse with less buttons. Yes. I I can't get a hang of this casting thing. Because I feel like I've held it for a while and it doesn't go anywhere. And I feel like I've barely held it and it goes like across the entire house. This game's perfect. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with this mod pack. Right. I got a bite in the house. Tim, we have, like, stuff swimming in the house. Yeah. We have a pond. I didn't get the fish. F you. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. I stuck on land. Land shark. I have to... I have to break... Okay, I had to okay, I had to switch off the fishing rod. It was glitched. Hmm. Uh but yeah, so I don't know. I, I think either they needed to give it more functionality or they needed to make it cheaper. Definitely cheaper. You know, if it's gonna be made with plastic, I mean come on. Like, come on, give us aluminum. Please. Then again, everything Elgato makes is freaking plastic. Yeah, it is. Like, I had the HD60 Pro, which was the internal one that doesn't work with Risen, and we've been over that in other videos. So I'm not going to go into that now. Right. <laughs> and that was like aluminum construction on the PCB, which makes sense because it was basically a heat sink. I was like, wow, this is really good build quality. I like their stuff. I bought an HD60S. Holy mm -hmm. shit. It's all plastic, and they overlooked such simple things. Like? They include an HDMI cable for you to use and a USB-C cable for you to use, right? Okay. But the ports are on the very outer edges of the device. So the cable sticks out of the device and can easily get knocked off or broken if it's chilling under your desk. Right. Indent the port and put more plastic filling around it so you have a supported cable when it plugs in like that's what um angel bird i think is the company that does they make like i got a heart i caught a heart when i had got that fish tim tim i, a heart? I, See, I got i give I got my heart lungs. to you <laughs> yeah i got lungs we can't really do anything with i caught a 1.1 ounce fish Oh, uh, we damn. can put it in a squeezer and we can get blood out of it. Does That's that help us? Pleasant. I probably at some point in time. I don't know how. Can, can we use blood to like give ourselves a transfusion when we're really injured? Does this have uh, buckets of blood? What the hell can blood stone? Blood chili? Ugh. Blood tank? So anyways, well, yeah, it's like, come on, have the actual cable port sit into the device and use the housing around the plug end on the cable to, like, have it sit in the divot on the device and give it just a little bit of support so you're not going to break the freaking thing off. Because they know a lot of gamers are going to have this, like, sitting under their desk. Right. You know, like, make it conducive to sitting under the desk without breaking. That would be nice. So I'm actually thinking about making like a little freaking extension for it so that it won't break the cable. Because especially now that I have the HD60S, which is supposed to be like, you know, the easy plug and play one, I bought extra cables so that I could easily unplug it. So I don't have it in like a permanent mounted place. Right. So it's even more susceptible to breaking. All because Elgato can't get their shit together to make proper drivers for Risen. <laughs> God. So I think, personally, I couldn't even buy the Stream Deck just out of not wanting to support them anymore for doing stupid shit. <laughs> well. You know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, you're, you're right. Actually, you know what? I, I, I want to talk about this, and it's going to be late news by the time this video goes up. Um, but I want to talk about this because of the fact that we're not doing the Big Box Weekly Show this week because we're taking the weekend off for the holiday. Right. Um, DJI. The drone company. 
Okay. They're doing this, like, really sketchy shit. Basically, they want everyone to have to register an account with DJI in order to use the DJI app, which is the only way to access the camera feed from any of their devices. So, like, if you want to fly their drones and stuff. Um, but the other thing they're doing is if you don't register your drone with the app and give them all the personal information that they deem that they need, mm -hmm. they're supposedly going to be, like, kneecapping their drones. And that means what for the uninitiated? Uh, so what that means is they're going to do shit where basically, like, um, oh, wow, I got a bite right away, huh? Like, they're going to make it so it can't fly more than, like, 50 feet away or more than 30 feet in the air. Okay. Like, that's bullshit. Yes. I don't like it. That's much bullshit. We didn't have any zombies during the night here. Oh, is it night? It was. It's daytime now. Oh, interesting. How long has this there... episode been going, then? I don't know. Like 16 minutes. I think I'll catch one more fish and then wrap it up. I think it's because you put the zombie heads out here. I told you, man, it was going to scare them away. Yep. They don't want to mess with us. They know we hard. They don't. Yep. <laughs> they don't play. We don't play. Hard we AF, like that freedom. chocolate chip. Yes. And that the only way you will know that reference is if you're a regular viewer of Tim's stream or if you go subscribe to Hook Streams. Yes. Okay, I'm wrapping up the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, happy Thursday or Friday, depending on how lazy editing Greg is. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Uh, BigBoxGamers.com. Check out Tim. Thanks. Bye. Later. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you're in the mood to check out some more, why don't you check out one of these two videos? I highly recommend them. Or if you want to check out more later, but not now, that's cool too. You can either click here to subscribe to myself or here to subscribe to the big box of gamers. Just make sure you click that little bell icon so that you get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.